Let's look at a simple probability problem with an answer that might surprise you. The setup is pretty simple. Two fair coins are tossed. I claim that the the probability that both are heads, given that at least one is heads, is one-third. The reason is that the, the number of ways to get two heads over the number of ways to get at least one head is one over three. The number of ways to get at least at least one head is we've got H T T H and H H. Then I claim that the the probability that both are heads, given that the first coin is heads, is one half. And the proof is that the number of ways to get two heads over the number of ways to get the first coin as head equals, well we have one, one way to get two heads and two. We could have gotten head head or head tail. So we get a different answer if we're given that the first coin is head than we get if we're given that at least one is head. And maybe this looks simple if we write out the possibilities HH over the number of these possibilities 1 over 3 or HH over the number of these possibilities 1 over 2. But let's do it with coins and see if I can convince you that something is a little counterintuitive. All right, so I've got two coins here. Flip them. I got two head, uh, two tails. Let me try again because this won't work unless I get at least one head. All right, so I've got two coins here, and if I show you that one of them is head. What's the probability that the other one is head? You might think one half, but actually it's it's one third because we're we're doing the, the first version of the problem here. So take as much time as you need to think about that. The end. <laughs>